Hey, hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. An exciting show for you today on the live stream as we look into how you can flatten audio levels. Often a problem when you're recording into a microphone, especially if it's not compressed and you're going, hello, 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 hello. And uh, yes, it can be quite annoying, can't it? especially if you're podcasting or you're creating something for the radio and you want it to sound uniform. So I'm going to answer a question. This is for uh, Sahil Blosh, who's got in touch, and he says, Mike, whenever I record something, my habit is that I keep changing the distance from my microphone. Uh, and as a result, the volume keeps changing. How can I edit this in such a way that this behavior does not happen? Very good question, Sahil. Thank you very much for getting in touch and asking that question. So let's see whether we can solve your problem. I've got a little uh, audio file here ready to go, new audio file ready to record into Adobe Audition CC. Uh, so I will start recording right now. And you should see my audio appearing. And sometimes I'm very loud, even so loud that I distort. And then sometimes I whisper and you can hardly hear me. And then this is really difficult because sometimes I'm far away from the microphone over here and you can hardly hear me and then I'm back over here and I know how it can be when you just have different levels. Annoying. All right, there's my recording. Now, obviously, I'm using a good microphone. This is the TLM 103 uh, from Neumann. Excellent, excellent microphone. I also do something a little bit cheeky as well. I run it through a microphone preamp and processor. Uh, so I've just normalized that. I hit the N key. That's uh, what I've got assigned to my favorite here, normalized to minus 0 0.1 dB. That doesn't do anything else apart from make the audio louder. It doesn't process it, doesn't add EQ, doesn't compress. It just simply turns it up. So you can basically, so you can see the waveform and you can see here how I've got some audio that's very loud, some audio that's very quiet and uh, yeah. It's all rather annoying, isn't it, Sahil? I know exactly how you and many others feel uh, when you're trying to even out audio and get it sound good. So in this live stream, uh, my goal is to show you how to make this almost like a flat line without making the audio sound absolutely uh, terrible. So we'll have a play with that and we'll see just what we can do to make your audio better. Uh, now, this show is brought to you by the Pro Podcast Presets. If you're a podcaster and you want to make your podcast sound absolutely fantastic, then I highly suggest you head to mrc.fm slash ppp. I have designed a template uh, that I'll show you, actually, if you go into multi-track here, select the template of po Pro Podcast Presets. Hard to say with all that alliteration, isn't it? Uh, you can see here there's a, a track for the podcast host, for your talk over music that auto-ducks, so no need to fade music up and down. It just works. Intro and outro place, place for your co-host, Skype guest, which will use adaptive noise reduction to get rid of that horrible Skype hiss. Another podcast guest track, place to put your sound effects. These are a couple of buses or um, mixers for all of the channels here to make them sound better. And finally, the master settings actually have some audio settings on in the effects rack uh, to finally process that audio. So when you click multi-track, mix down entire session, you'll get uh, an audio file that's ready to save as an MP3 and upload to your podcast media host. Simple as that. Never worry about having all your audio sounding uh, the same level again. <laughs> you don't even need to watch this tutorial. Just go and get the Pro Podcast presets right now at mrc.fm slash p. P P. Right, back to this voice that I was recording. So I'm going to show you uh, a couple of things you can do. First of all, uh, setting up a compressor on this really is going to solve a lot of issues. Uh, so let's have a look at how it looks now. I can take off spectral frequency display, which is this window here, uh, shift and D, or just click that button up there, it switches it off. And now we've got our audio here ready to play with. Now I'm going to click this here, show the preview editor, so you can see the original up here, and then the uh, new version down here. So when I add an effect, you'll see what's happening down here in the, the bottom view. Uh, so let's start off and go into effects. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to amplitude and compression. And I'm going to choose one of the compressors. Before I do this, it's always good to get an idea uh, using amplitude statistics. That can be accessed via window. Amplitude statistics gives you a window here just to scan your audio and have a look at the average RMS amplitude, which is around minus 39, minus 40 dB. Perfect. Great knowledge to have. Now I can go straight in, amplitude and compression in the effects menu. I can go for like a, a single band compressor, a really straightforward compressor. 
I can go down to minus 40 dB here, and I'm adding a, a ratio here. Look, already it's starting to look really good. Ratio of two to one, a very light amount of compression, but as you can see, already having a dramatic effect on the, uh, the levels of the audio. You can see my whispering here is a lot louder, and my shouting here is a lot quieter. If I was to go up to three to one, it's just gonna compress even more, and we'll see now, look at that, see? The, the big loud bit just went down even further, which is kind of what we want. But we, we want to go, um, we don't want this to be too high, this ratio. So we want to get as high as we need it to be without going over the top. Two and a half to one is still a very decent compression ratio. So let's listen to this audio with the compressor on. And you should see my audio appearing. And sometimes I'm very loud, even so loud that I distort. And then sometimes I whisper and you can hardly hear me. Notice with that single band compressor how, how good the audio sounds. You can, you can hear all of it. You don't need to turn it up or down. It's brilliant. Switch off the compressor and let's listen to the original. And you should see my audio appearing. And sometimes I'm very loud, even so loud that I distort. And then sometimes I whisper and you can hardly hear me. Exactly. <laughs> Again, with the compressor, amazing stuff. Uh, let's increase this to something like five to one, a really harsh ratio. You'll never need to go this high. Look at how flat line that is now. Let's play that back. And in fact, the more ratio you put on, once you've set the threshold up, which is uh, basically the, the level at which it starts compressing, minus 40 dB in this case, uh, you will see that you lose a lot of amplitude. So you need to turn this output gain up. Let's go up to around 20 dB to make it louder, maybe even further. 25, nearly 25 dB, and you should see my audio appearing. And sometimes I'm very loud, even so loud that I distort. And then sometimes I whisper, and you can hardly hear me. So you can hear how the voice is starting to become a little crunchy now because I've put a bit too much uh, compression on, and that's showing. So definitely try and keep it sounding natural. That would be my tip. But this is a really, really good and easy way. Attack should usually be down at zero milliseconds. You could probably get away with uh, one, two, or three, maybe even up to five milliseconds attack time, which is, but you see, the more attack time you have, the more spikes you get. And really, by reducing that attack time down to like, two milliseconds see the spike still there but starting to disappear down to zero and oh sorry that's three down to zero milliseconds and everything's nice and flat uh release you can actually afford to take it up a little bit if you want uh if you take it all the way down you're going to get a, a weird looking waveform so definitely allow a little bit of release time see 38 milliseconds is enough just to allow it to be nice and compressed um, but looking really good. So that's the easiest way with a single band compressor. You can do it uh, in other ways. Uh, for instance, setting up uh, old school dynamics processing will do this. Uh, let's just set that to default and we'll just notch it out here and sort of get a, a compressor going on. Bring this down a little bit and you'll see the compression starting to kick in. Uh, this one, you know, not quite as easy. And what I'm going to have to do is go into settings. And again, we're going to look for attack and release times. Attack time, far too slow. Bring that down. And again, we're losing those spikes again. That's available in the settings area of dynamics processing. So that's another way you can you can go about doing it. Um, lots of other ways. I mean, if you want to go nuts, one of the hardest compressors in the arsenal is the one in the special menu of effects, mastering. And if we go to the default view here, and we'll just move that loudness maximizer up to 100%. Look at this. We're in sausage territory. But as you can see, terribly hard limited and clipped. And uh, that audio is going to sound weird. And you should see my audio appearing. Depends what you're making it for. Are you making this for a podcast? Uh, don't put very much compression on. Are you making this for radio imaging? Go nuts. Stick as much compression as you like. Uh, look, 20%, you see it's not showing now. 47%, we're starting to get there. Uh, but again, it, it all depends about how much audio is going in. Hard limiting uh, will do a similar thing. I'll show you that one as well, seeing as I'm here explaining a few techniques. Hard limiting. Uh, to minus 3 dB, that preset there, is actually sending the input boost up by 6 dB, so the amplitude of the volume going in to that limiter is up. If we turn it up even more, it's going to start hitting the threshold where it will push everything down uh, to be clipped at minus 3 dB. Let's turn it up a bit more, a uh, bit more. Now you start to see that hard limiting really working. The only thing it's not working on is the whispering there, so a bit more. <laughs> there you go, everything's nice and hard limited. Let's listen to how that sounds. And you should see my audio appearing. And sometimes I'm very loud, even so loud that I distort. And then sometimes I whisper and you can hardly hear me. 
So many ways that you can go about doing it. Hope that's really helped you, Sahil, and others who are watching the show right now. Uh, remember, you can submit a question to be answered on this live stream. Just go to community.musicradiocreative.com and write your question there on the board. Maybe others will help you out. Uh, but certainly, if it's a good question, I will feature it on a future uh, live stream from Music Radio Creative. And uh, you can also call in to our studio hotline, which is always open and available to receive uh, your voicemails, 415 800 1055 at plus one if you're outside the US and uh, leave a message. Would love to hear from you. And remember, this show is brought to you by the Pro Podcasting Presets. Pro Podcast Presets. Nice alliteration there. Uh, again, you can go and grab them at a half price discount until the end of this week only. Make your podcast sound better. Go to mrc.fm slash ppp. <laughs> We'll be right back.